Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey video. Now in this video I'm not going to be doing a review but I am doing the second part of my 2021 uh, like whiskies that I have enjoyed this year. Um, the first one that I had done focused on uh, I guess international whiskies or like the whole whiskey category as a whole. Um, this one, however, is just focusing on my five favorite Australian whiskies that I have had this year. And again, the same criteria um, follows through for the, uh, the previous video. These, uh, these whiskies all need, needed to be ones that I have reviewed this year. Going through the list, it was amazing to see how many I have actually been through. Um, there have been some absolutely amazing whiskies. And I've been very much looking forward to sharing what my favorite ones have been um, with you so far. So, um, I'm again, I'm not going to be going into any real detail about the, the whiskies in general, but I will put the, since I have already reviewed them, but I will put the links to the reviews in the description box down below. That way, if you want to see or see or hear my thoughts on them, all you got to do, click those links and um, you can see them for yourself. So, starting off with number five. Number five goes to the Aisling, um, to the Aisling Distillery. This is the Aisling Single Malt Tawny. Um, the Aisling, again, is a, a New South Wales distillery. Um, my home, or say my state that I live in. Um, absolutely fantastic quality single malt. If you love your tawny or port um, finish whiskies, this is definitely something that you would enjoy. Number four goes to Corowa uh, Distillery. This is their single barrel cask 32. Um, this is the single barrel version of their Mad Dog Morgan release. It was a musket cask um, aged whiskey and this has been my favorite whiskey that I have tried from Corowa so far. They have got some absolutely fantastic whiskies that they've released, but this single barrel 32 has been absolutely amazing and I'm so thankful that I was able to actually get a bottle of it as well. Number three was one that I've tried only very recently, um, and this one goes to Chief Sun Distillery. Uh, Chief Sun is a Victorian distillery, and this one is their cask expression, 47.85% uh, ABV. Uh, absolutely stunning whiskey. It's a classic Scotch style Australian whiskey. So, for those of you who prefer your more traditional style of whiskies, this is definitely something that will be right up your alley. And Chief Sun have again have been putting out some exceptional malts. So, make sure you definitely go and check them out. Number two and number one pretty much went to almost a head-to-head -head battle for these ones and I can say that the margin for the number one position for this one was literally this much but again I had to I had to make a separation and what I have chosen now for my number two whiskey of the number two Australian whiskey of the year goes to Florio's distillery the Florio Englishman in New York this is one of those whiskies that I had some major FOMO about missing out on. I was very lucky that I was able to get a bottle for quite a while this year. It was my number one um, spot for taking out this, um, say my whiskey of the year for Australian whiskies. Um, absolutely beautiful. It's a peated port cask expression from Florio. Balance of flavor is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but yeah, this is the one that has taken out the number two position. So that's the Florio Englishman in New York. Number one, and some of you may have already assumed this already since it made it into the top five whiskies for 2021 in my previous video. And this one goes again to the Starwood Octave Barrels. This is my number one um, whiskey for the year. It has been very hard for me to describe how much I love this whiskey. This has been one of those whiskies that... Um, in terms of Star Wars releases, I've generally been happy with just having the one um, one bottle um, from them. This one, however, I needed to have a second, and I was very lucky to be able to get that second um, that second bottle before they sold out. Uh, again, an absolutely fantastic quality whiskey. The quality of the spirit, the quality the quality of the barrel that was used, everything I. 
every aspect of this whiskey I have absolutely loved and it is definitely a well-deserved spot for number one in my Australian whiskies of 2021 but um, yeah that's it that's my list for for this year I've got to start building up things for next year now I'm very excited to see um, what will be coming into the into the new year um, there's always some new fantastic whiskies coming in and I really look forward to seeing what I'll be able to get my hands on in the coming year. So just a quick run through. Number five went to the Aisling Distillery. So you got the Aisling Single Malt 20 release. Number four was the Corowa Single Barrel 32. Number three, Chief Sun Cask Expression 47.85% ABV. Number two was the Florio Englishman in New York. And number one is the Starwood Octave Barrels. Now, I would just like to end this sort now by wishing you all a happy new year. And again, I look forward to seeing how our whiskey journeys will be carrying on in the new year. So I'll leave it at that. My name is Andrew. I'll see you all again on the next video. Get this. Oh, you're still here. Well, why not consider continuing on with some more content and subscribing? I'll see you next time. Bye bye.